All right, what I'm going to do is a quick video here of what we're, can be accomplished here in short order. Essentially, we're using the mission planner, and uh, the vehicle is going to be a steady drone quad 4D quadcopter. And basically, we're using the uh, flight planner and the Google satellite map to use as our base for reference for navigation. And you could use you know, Yahoo satellites, Bing maps, satellites, whatever you want. I'm just using the Google Satellite right now for this presentation. And essentially what I did was I picked out a central point in my property and I'll call this the home location or launch point. And then I went into the flight planner and you can tell it to automatically create a centrifugal circle around you at a certain distance and then it asks you for the default altitude for the flight to fly in that circle. And then it generates all the waypoints you see on the screen in front of you automatically. Um, essentially at that point all you got to do now is just to add a couple of scripts at the end of the file and that would be once you finish flying the circle or start to fly a circle you got to do a auto launch and it takes off and does auto then it goes to waypoint one through the sequence at the end of the sequence when it gets to the last waypoint you need to turn it uh, come back to return to launch point and then the final command is the land and you can manually take over the landing once it gets overhead and just bring it down like you normally would or let it do it autonomously. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch screens now and I'm going to go over to the uh, flight data screen. And on the flight data screen you see the HUD display and then you've got other things and gauges down at the bottom or you can use a quick run out of voltage, degrees, distance to waypoint, the next waypoint and all these variables and for our purposes we're going to go use the telemetry so I'm going to play back the actual flight that we just did now this data is stored on the APM flight controller on the quadcopter it has a 16 and a half megabyte storage capacity and then you can download it or save it to the mission planner as you're flying now since I'm using a telemetry thing from RC logger it's a 900 megahertz transmitter I can plug it into the USB port of my next is neck notepad or in this case my notebook computer so let's go ahead and do the simulation replay of the flight actually it's not a simulation but a replay of it and we just took off in the auto mode and we're climbing through uh, about 26 feet of altitude to our assigned altitude of 110 feet MSL and that's going to be the final altitude for the entire flight until we return to land um, you'll see it switch over to automatic here in just a moment. And when it gets to that, it goes. It's at the 110 feet. Auto engages. You can see it moving away from the home location toward the first waypoint. And that's it referenced right there. And basically, it's going to start flying the route. And you can see these imaginary track lines. Those are projected uh, course track and then track to the next waypoint. So it's just a, a rule line that they put, project out in, in advance of the aircraft flight. I'm going to come back over to the gauges and you can see over here basically it's staying at level altitude and it's assigned altitude is 110 feet and if you look up here on the ribbon in the HUD display it says 110. My speed across the ground is showing right now at about 10 miles an hour and that's matched by the airspeed and the GPS ground speed track matching up at around 10 to 11. And then you can see the altitude indicator showing 110 feet and my current compass heading to the next waypoint with a heading bug changing constantly to the next waypoint in advance of the circle. And if we come back over, you can see the thing has already proceeded through halfway of the course. And we'll just let it go through its paces here. Essentially, you can change the programming at this point if you're doing a photo shoot or a still shot. So while it's doing this circle, you can have it yaw the aircraft toward the home or launch point and do a video and keep the camera focused on that direction. Or you can use a waypoint reference for the yaw and the camera keep it yawed in that direction the whole time. Okay, we're coming up to the last waypoint. At this point, it's going to enter my command, which was return to launch, which is what it's doing now. And once it gets there and stabilized, you'll start to see the speed drop off over here. 
and you'll start to see the VSI and the vertical speed indicator start to go down. Now it starts off at about a thousand foot descent per minute to 1500 feet. Then once it gets to around 30 foot of elevation, it drops to the vertical speed down to 200 feet per minute descent. And essentially it does an auto land very smoothly and very control all the way down to the bottom. So that is just a quick representation of what the uh, autonomous features are using your city drone.